she can be playful with dogs. She just has, um, you know, some attitude. It's different. It's, it's different than Puck, the Corgi's insecure growling. It's very different. So I handle it differently. She's going after Puck. And so it's just different. What are you doing? You gonna follow Dakota? Interesting. That's interesting. Huh. Dakota's usually my... All right, man. Hero, what's going on with your energy? You bossing my bosses around. Let's go. Good job. Dusty, come here. Good boy. Dusty, come. Good. Set. Oh, oh, oh. That's a lot. Interesting. Interesting. All right. Great choices. I, that is what you call a setup. So the vast majority of time we work under threshold. So for instance, with that Corgi Puck, I would not have ever let any of these dogs do that to Puck, never. I would have told them to move away, which I think I even got caught on video with Dakota. Her, it's different. She's the antagonizer. So I'm trying to set her up a little bit, push her buttons. What's her threshold? I know a lot of trainers disagree with that. And we can have those conversations, but not right now. <laughs> it's my way. Let's go, chick. It was great. It's great choices. But I don't know if she'd tolerate that again. Just because your dog tolerates it one time does not mean it'll be tolerated again. Dakota, easy. Ooh, something about Dakota. I don't know. I don't really read too much into it. So I did have Dakota move away. I don't want her to be charged constantly by the dogs. Let's go. What do you think? What do you think? Good job, Dakota. Dakota, easy. She doesn't really want to be smelled. She, she wants to be in control. Dakota, sit. She's clearly not going to, like, just attack anyone. So these are all big dogs, too. Puck is small. Hey, down. Lay down. Don't worry. Won't let anything happen to you. What do you think? What do you think? You want to check her out? She's like, nope. Good. Good job. Hey. You doing good? What do you think? Wow. Good job. Yeah, good job. Hero, come. Hero, come. Good, did you see her glance at me? Dakota out, so now I'm gonna advocate for her. She moved Dakota out. She, good job, hero. Good. Um, that was great. So, here is my alpha. Maverick, come here, Mav. Mav, come. Or not. Just stand there because you do what you want. Good job, Math. Wow. Okay. This is interesting. All of my dogs are acting different than most of the, no offense guys, but nervy, anxious, neurotic dogs I bring in here. They're all so predictable. They are all acting the opposite of what they normally do. So, what's that say about you, Hero? Hero is absolutely anxious sometimes. It's not that she's not. She absolutely is. But I think when it comes to, to dog stuff, 
she radiates true badness. What do you think, Math? What do you think about her, huh? Why don't you give her a smell? I mean, she's nervous. It's not that she's not, but of course she's nervous. But she's not overreacting. If anything, she's avoiding conflict, but she's also confident. It's very interesting. Look at that side eye. She's like, yeah, come a little closer, buddy. Not overreacting at all. Good, good choice. Oh, yeah. That's a good choice. Good job. I'm fascinated. I don't get a lot of dogs like her in. Most of them are like Puck. Hey, Chick. Dakota, easy. Easy, Dakota. Easy, Chick. Man, look at all that. Now, she's avoiding. She's a little nervous, but she's not overreacting. She's not like, that was me making her do that. Um, I hit the chair, made a noise. She's very sensitive to noises, especially like metal clanging. Um, but when it comes to dog stuff, she's like so appropriate. She's like, if I, I feel pressure in a new place with these dogs, not my home, so I'm going to get out of their way. I'm gonna sniff them a little. I mean, she's got like perfect attitude to be in a, a pax yard in a neutral zone. Her attitude is like perfection. Oh, here we go. I think she just thinks she's the sheriff of Puck. Like, it doesn't come from any, you know, neurosis. No offense, clients, that we're used to seeing. You know, she's nothing like Puck, that's for sure. But I think most of my clients are more on the, the spectrum of Puck than, than Hero. Hero, you're awesome. Come here. Come here, Hero. Come here. Come here. You come here. You're blinking. Oh, I've been trying to figure out this muzzle. If she looks up, she has to blink because it bothers her. <laughs> but see, I wonder about that stuff. You know, if she gets comfortable enough, she'll get inclined to go after him because in the, look, look at that. Yep, 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 yep. She's a sheriff, that's all it is. Not, not to undermine her aggression or not to, uh, not undermine, that's not the right word. Not to, what's the word I'm looking for, Chris? Her her aggression is serious. I see that. I don't want to under. shut up, <laughs> sarcasm. <laughs> diminish, there we go, Woo! Boy, that took some time. I don't want to diminish her aggressive nature, like aggressiveness towards Puck, it's serious. But I think it comes from purely a place of feeling uh oh no 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 there's no play right now dakota dakota no enough enough sorry no no play with new dog in the yard um do you not want to diminish the aggression with puck it is true it is bad we have to stop it but it's it's a sheriffing issue like she thinks she's a german shepherd or something oh yeah see her gravitating look at her gravitating to dust because of how he's behaving hear that whining that's dusty and if they were more comfortable with each other, she would probably try to correct him. See his... <laughs> oh yeah, that's what it is. Nice. Cool. I'm learning more and more.